Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I created this snake inspired look. If you'd like to see that, just keep on watching. First I'm starting out with a glue stick and I'm going to be gluing down my eyebrows, just putting one layer so they're more flat and I could glitter over them. Taking a gel eyeliner and a fine angle brush, I'm going to be lining my immediate eye area just around my eyes with a gel liner. Kind of creating a shape like this, as you can see. After my immediate eye area has been lined with gel liner, which is more safe and durable around the eye area, I'm taking a water activated paint and just creating a shape kind of like this. It's easier to just see rather than me try to explain it. I'm going for a snake slash human like appearance. So I'm just creating these nostrils. Taking that water activated paint, I'm going to be using it to create my new lip shape and extend the corners of the mouth outwards. The water activated paint on the lips isn't a long term type thing. It's just good for photographs and stuff. It's not very durable and the second any moisture or anything gets on it, it will rub right off. So if you were going to wear a look like this out, I would suggest a black liquid lipstick or the gel liner would work really well too. Next up, black in the waterline. Taking this really fine craft store glitter and Vaseline to do the next parts. So I'm taking a large brush and just putting a coat of Vaseline all over my face and all over everywhere that is not black. I'm using the Vaseline as a glue for the glitter. Taking a smaller brush and just dipping right into that fine glitter, I'm very careful around the eye area. This craft store glitter is not cosmetic glitter and it should not be used near the eye. You want to avoid it getting in your eyes because it, it's very dangerous. It could cut your eyes and it's just a whole slew of problems. So you'll notice that around my eyes, I'm going to use gravity and I'll be turning my head and stuff just so that any fallout will fall to the ground and not in my eyes if possible. After I go around all the black parts, with the glitter, I'm going to take a larger brush and 
pack on the rest of the glitter throughout the whole face, ears, and a little bit of the hairline. Next, I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and softening up all the lines between the black and the gold, just to make it look a little bit softer and a little bit more um, smoked or blown out and not just like a harsh line. Next, I'm going to be taking the shedded skin from a jungle carpet python. This comes from a big old girl and her name is Rogue. This is her beautiful shedded skin here with beautiful patterns. Jungle carpet pythons are native to Australia and they get their common name from their beautiful pattern, which reminds us of like an oriental carpet. She's a stunner. I'm just taking her shedded skin and attaching it around the head and neck using bobby pins. The next shredded skin I am going to use is from Midas. He is a five-year-old albino snow Colombian red tail boa. That's a mouthful. He's about seven and a half feet long and around 20 pounds. And he's so gorgeous. Look at his face. I'm using this piece right here from his shed on my chest and I'm just adhering it with like a thick coat of Vaseline and then I'm going to do the glitter process with the Vaseline and the glitter all surrounding it all over the chest and shoulder area. Last step we'll be popping in these swirled fangs and if you'd like to read more about these snakes, I'll link all that below. Thanks for watching!